In this problem, we are finding the probability of what are called independent events. When you have more than one thing, more than one event, and you want to find the probability of both of those things happening, you multiply them together. When the events are independent, all that means is that, let's say, for example, you're choosing cards from a deck, is that you choose one and then you put it back and you choose another one so that the two events don't affect each other. If I chose a card from a deck and then chose another card without putting it back, the second time I'm choosing, I'm only choosing from 51 cards rather than the 52 that you start with in a deck. So those would be dependent events. In this case, they're independent events, so we always put the cards back. Let's read this problem and see if we can calculate the probability. It says there's a stack of eight cards, each given a different number one to eight. Suppose we select a card randomly from the stack replace it, and then randomly select another card. What is the probability that the first card is an even number and the second card is greater than four? All right, what we need to do here, we have two events. We need to calculate the probability of each one of those and then multiply them together. The first one here is the probability that the first card is an even number. Well, our sample space the total number of things that we have, possible outcomes, should look like this. You've got eight cards with the numbers one through eight. So how many of those are even? Well, two, four, six, and eight. Half of them are four out of eight. So the probability for the first one is four out of eight for possible uh, outcomes of the thing we want, eight total possible outcomes. We can simplify that to one half. So that's our first event. Our second event says the second card is greater than four. How many cards are greater than four? Well, five, six, seven, and eight. That's four out of eight again, which can be simplified to one half. Now, if we want the probability that the first card is an even number and the second card is greater than four, we multiply those probabilities. One half times one half. When you multiply fractions, you multiply across the top and across the bottom. One times one is one, two times two is four. So it's a one in four chance that you'll get a first card that's even and a second card that's greater than four. So that's a little bit of work with the probability of independent events.